Yes! Sorry. Everything okay? No, not really. Oh dear, what's wrong? Oh, well, everything. Gosh. Noisy kettle, wrong herbals, that bloody driver. Oh, sorry, was he late? No, but the car absolutely stunk, Susan. Oh, dear. Was it that, um, Nigerian chap? I don't know, I couldn't see. Because they can haunt quite a bit. Mm. He'd obviously just been farting in there all morning. The thing is, he's Helen Mirren's driver. Well, maybe she doesn't mind being driven to work in a toilet, Susan. I think he'd actually followed through. Trousers were absolutely full, front and back. You said you couldn't see. I could see that. Well, look, I'll, um, I'll swap him. No, I would rather you fired him. Right. Um, his family back home really needs supporting. I think his wife's well, got AIDS. Oh, God. Well, I've got family back home. I mean, Craig doesn't have AIDS, but we are separating. Right. Um, Zoe, love, can't actually see the banana. Um, it's, it, it's there. I think it's probably just, um, sunken to the bottom. I mean, I could stir it back up to the top. Uh, no, I would rather you didn't touch it, sweetheart. Do you mind just getting me a fresh one with the banana visible? OK. Sorry. She a lesbian. Huh? I don't know. God, did you not see the way she looked at me? She might as well have just ripped my knickers off and... She's always finding excuses to stay in here. I think that whole banana thing is just a big ruse. Do you? Because even when I'm, I'm in the studio, I can feel her eyes boring into my breast. Can you? Yes. Oh, God, that sounds awful. Trilling through my nipples. <gasps> oh, dear. Back on in one oh. minute, So how's Sonia doing? Hey, she's not well, Leslie. She wants to get a tattoo, which... Oh, really? Yeah. Where's she thinking of getting that, then? Well, she wants it on her body. She's going to have to have a really perk body, otherwise it's just going to... Drew. I know, but it's telling Gail, she's already, because she's already quite saggy in the downstairs department anyway, so I think now's probably a good time to oh, do right. it. Right. And what's the image of then? She wants initially sort of just like a balloon, like a big balloon. Oh, why is she going for a balloon? Her granddad, who she was very close to and always have been, he suddenly passed away in a balloon, and so it's just... Oh. Was it like a hot air balloon? Oh, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. OK. So with all the strings and the basket Exactly, so you've got kind of thing. granddad sort of hanging on for dear life, and it's kind of like it's been blown in the wind as well, so it's kind of been dragged across. Oh, it's nice, actually. Gosh. I've seen a little mock-up for it. So you've got the basket on one cheek, the strings going over the crack, and then the balloon oh, on the other cheek. With the flames and everything Exactly, going on. shooting up her anus. Yeah. 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 Stand by, studio. Yeah. Coming Thanks, back for Leslie. the break in yeah. five. <laughs> Oh, I'm so lovely. She and his partner. Oh, has he died? Welcome back. So, in our medical file today, we're looking at these wonderful dogs that have been trained to sniff out testicular cancer in men. So, how on earth does this work, Mike? Does, does cancer have a smell? Um, well, obviously, dogs have a much greater sense of smell than we humans. Mm -hmm. um, but does, you know, does cancer, testicular cancer have a bad smell? Or? Um, well, actually, what the research shows is that um, it's actually more likely to smell bad if you're OK, you know. So if you're, you know, if you're healthy, you're going to have sort of horrid smelling testicles. But if they smell all right, you know, it is more likely that you are going to have cancer. Oh, dear. So when you say all right, do you mean sweet or spicy? Or... Um, yeah, I mean, it's counterintuitive, isn't it? It's, it's actually quite floral. OK, so the ball smelling nice is actually not very nice mm -hmm. and, and actually a cause for concern. Mm, sure. And what about the penis? Does that smell? Uh, generally, the penis stinks. You know, I know mine does, especially when it's upright near, near my nose and so on. OK, so should we get one of these dog experts yes. out then? Yes, so we're, yeah. we're going to get um, uh, Griff. Um, this is my, my wife's dog. Um, as many people know, my wife is sadly housebound. Um, she, you know, we don't like to fork out for carers and so on and so forth. Sorry, pricey. So, so this kind of dog is ideal. And is that um, to guard her? Uh, it's to guard her and pin her down, yeah. OK, well, hi, Sonia, if you're watching. Oh, she won't be. OK, so, yeah, let's get, Should we get let's Griff get out? Griff OK, over. let's get Griff over here. Griff! <laughs> Griff, sweetheart, <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, all the way over. Oh, here. hello. Come on, Griff, up there, up there. There you go. There you oh, go. What's that oh, you're giving her. Griff? That's just some of Sonia's old foot skin. Um, now, as regular viewers will know, um, uh, Gail Smear test results came back absolutely fine. It was sort of over 100%, which is marvellous news. But this will be a good test, I think, you know, just to see if Griff is picking up on the right kinds of smell. Mm. Um, I hope he doesn't pick up on anything new. Well, no, I think we all, <laughs> <laughs> we all hope that, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Um, so let's just get Griff down. If I can just get you to stand, um, Gail. Right. Get you to stand. <clears throat> Griff, do you want to just jump down a second, sweetheart? There oh, you go. Oh, He's having a good old okay. rummage around Gosh. in there. <laughs> That's oh, does. What does that mean? He's having a good old noisy. Well, you know, he's just sort of just checking you out first. Right. This is like a preliminary well, he... examination. He doesn't. Think. You know. Oh, Griff. There we go. There is we... he? Um, what's he picking up there? Um, well, I think what he's picking up on there is is spores, basically, right. which are coming out. Does a bark mean something? 
He's backing off now. So that might be the way that he's trying to say that, you know, everything is all right, everything is absolutely fine. Um, Let's hope so. But yeah. he's saying, I definitely don't have cancer. I think so, yeah. But, I, you know, I would always get a second opinion on those right. cases. What, from think. another dog? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. OK. Well, coming up after the break, Julie Goodyear's special report from Rwanda. All that and more. Don't go anywhere. Hey, we're having a barbecue on Friday mm -hmm. and Saturday. So, okay. I don't know if you want, they've mm -hmm. got this big pork offer at M&S. And if you queue up outside, they'll give you all their free kind of stuff that's on the turn. So, it's usually a day over oh. and stuff. But the way I cook it, because of the intensity of the heat, everything goes. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Sorry to interrupt the fun. Can I just introduce myself? I'm, uh, I'm going to be standing in for Jane as the new producer until she recovers. Sorry, did you nobody, did nobody tell you? No. Sorry, I, I did try and tell you, Gail, when we were coming to the meeting. I'm so sorry. Jane is in a pretty bad way. Really? Actually, I've got whatever Sonia has. That's my thing, because that, that's very serious. It is. It, it is pretty serious. And here she's been moved to the Maudsley, is that...? Yep, the secure unit. Yeah. Um, OK. But listen, I just want to reassure you all, I'm a huge fan of the show. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> well, I'm not here to rock the boat. I'm here to keep it afloat. But Martin and I have actually been talking about ways that we could perhaps, oh, I don't know, freshen it up a bit. And um, I've actually taken a sneaky peek at the viewing figures. Mm. And there's a pleasing spike, Mike, uh, whenever you're on. Which is interesting really? because, well, yes. And I think wow, that's, that's the younger viewers yeah. coming. Great. Or so. I mean, maybe it's because I'm louder. I don't know if, if, if there's a... I think you probably have to consult Jane regarding any freshening up of the show. Gail, believe me, I would love to get Jane's input, but the last we heard, she was eating her own faeces. Oh, my mum did that. Well, not hers. She ate mine. <laughs> if we could just park Jane for a moment. I she's want to Sorry, just... she's not a bloody tractor. You know, the woman is my best friend. OK. I take that on board. But we have got to discuss the show. We have a very exciting week, as I say, coming up. We have Natalie Neeson coming in for the interview tomorrow. It's meant to be Liam Neeson. Yeah, he uh, he postponed because of his ex murder. Did you not know that? I actually got a call about that, and he, he can't come. I forgot to tell you, sorry. Excuse so me, I just, don't, keep going I just do not want to this. hear any more excuses from you today. The point so about um, Natalie is it's her first television interview, so it's going to be a real biggie. Excuse me, I don't even know who she is. Um, no. Come here. Hey. Hello. Hi. Mm. Mm. God, you smell great. What is that? Me? <laughs> you should bottle that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh. So, what's new, Puscat? My hips. Had them both replaced. I didn't think they could get any better. <laughs> no, I've, uh, I've a lot more swivel now. I'm almost like an owl down there. <laughs> the full 360. <laughs> round and round. Yeah. How about you? How's your hernia? Well, you saw me double up at the party. Did. Did you see it actually pop out? Mm, I wasn't actually sure what it was, to be honest. Nor was I. I had no idea. It just kind of burst out like a sort of, I don't know, like a hairy donut. Oh, I thought it was part of the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to eat it. Well. <laughs> anyway, um, Diana is out of town golfing, so maybe we should catch a bite? Well, I actually need to talk to you about something else, Martin. Um, it's it's Jean. I mean, what, what the hell is going on? It's not, it's not good, Gail. Have you not visited? Oh, God, I mean, I've, I want to, Martin, believe me. I just, I'm just worried. I'm, I have to find it too upsetting. Well, thank God for Amanda. You know, she can hopefully stay for as long as it takes. Oh, God, no, no. I'm sorry, Martin, that is not going to work. Love. No, I don't like her, Martin. She's rude, she's arrogant, she smells. That's what makes her a great producer. If she stays, Martin, I will walk. <sighs> Oh, Mike. Hey, Amanda. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. I, I, I know you didn't get any breakfast, God bless you, so I just bought you a English for lunch. Uh, That's nice so sweet. Cool. Thank you, Mike. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, no, it's just say thank you and you know, great to have you on the team. And... It's really kind, Mike. Mm. Thanks. Mm. No, and I'm taken. I'm taken. Do start, by the way. Sorry, I'm not one of those people who find it weird if you eat in front of them. I, I can. Right. I'm actually vegan. 
Evelyn, really? Sorry. Oh no. Um, okay. Uh, we'll just try and ignore the bacon for now and I'll um, get that out of your eye line. I'll have these. Do you eat eggs? I I'm a vegan. Oh, good. So at least there's something you can have with the toast and stuff. <sighs> Um, thanks for what you said in the meeting earlier, by the way, the uh, thing about the viewing figures. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah no, no, yeah. obviously. Well. I think this helps, which is... Um, so, uh, sorry, how do you know? I, I think it adds sort of a little bit of spice to the show, um, in a good way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the viewers love you. You know, they do, like I said. Thank and you. Um, Well, obviously, if I was here longer, I'd certainly be looking at ways to involve you more in the show, but hopefully... I know, God forbid, but... Ah, thank you. I mean, I wouldn't want to tread on Gail's toes, that's the only yeah, thing. No, no, no. Find a way around that. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, a little toe wouldn't do much damage, would it? It's the, it's the big toe, that's what Mum always said. The big toe you need to watch, you need to be careful of, it needs protecting, because that's the one that we use for balance. And I've actually got more than the usual number of toes, and I've got a couple of sort of extra little ones on the back of each heel that are really quite interesting. Actually, Almost like a web I really... Foot. Mike, I should get on. No, you know I what? Should... No, no, it's enough for another time. Anyway, no, listen, eat up. And, um, honestly, take care, my dear. We will keep her for a week, all right? And then, hopefully, Jane will come back. Promise. 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 Okay. And with regard to my popping out, I am having an operation so that in the future, in times of any physical duress, it's not going to pop out again. Phew. <laughs> okay. It's good to know. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> with that in mind... <laughs> OK. Wait. Done. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Glad I can see that banana falcon through. Mm. <laughs> do you know what time um, I'm going home today? No, do you? Oh, no, I just thought because I've got to go dentist. Annoying. I don't know, Max. My teeth are all small. You've got small? Mm. What, how, you, what, did you wake up with them small? No. Just um, because uh, of my, my body's quite big, it pushes everything onto my head and there's no space for them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Max. Yeah. Amanda. Gail, hello. Hi, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Oh, it's a bit of a funny whiff. Is there? I've noticed. Is there really? I, I don't think. know. It might just be Jane or something. Jane? She might have left a bit of a bit of a smell behind. You know, I think sorrow can smell very, very strong. Anyway, do sit. Sit down. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I just wanted to sort of say sorry, really. That we... You know, for getting off on a bit of a bad footing. Yeah, not at all. I know Jane was... Well, she was my best friend. Yes. yes. She was my rock. Yeah. Have you been so... to see her? Oh, it's, it's killing me, Mandy, honestly. I've not been able to get there. I mean, you know how it is with, you know, London traffic and parking and... Uh... It's not far, though, is it? It's not too bad. No, but, um, I, uh, sorry. I've got a few personal, personal issues going on at the moment, so... Are you going to be OK doing the show? Oh, sure. Because yeah. I have to say, Mike's quite a bit younger than you, isn't he? Um, a wee bit. A wee bit younger, number-wise. Because I've got quite a few new ideas that I'd really like to implement. Right. Oh, that's a shame. And he's got a really good presence on camera. He has. He has. I think we both do, really. Um, I think the thing with Mike is you've got to be very careful not to overdo it, bless him. Um, I often think about the show like a big old bowl of rice pudding. Uh, now, you put a dash of nutmeg in that's gorgeous. Too much. It's sour. It's clogging your mouth. You feel really sick. OK. Yeah. But he brings a, a very fresh, young energy mm. here, doesn't he? He does. I mean, I think we both do. I think me hanging out with Mike and all his barbecues and whatnot. So, I mean, I don't know if he's invited to. He has, yes, actually. Um, but I can't go, unfortunately. Right. 
Yes, it's funny because um, we've all been talking about you quite a lot. Uh, you know, as people do when someone new, you know, comes into the nest. And uh, it was actually yeah. Susan, my PA. Oh, yeah. She lives alone with her mum, bless her. But she said you had the feel of actually a slightly haunted woman who probably lives alone. Really? Oh, that's interesting. So... I don't talk about my private life. Have you had your face done? Me? Mm. No. Gosh. Have you ever thought about it? Having work done? Mm. I mean, not now, but I mean in the next few months or year or something. Well, I think the thing is, you know, people tend to place me at around, you know, 30. Really? I'd have popped it slightly higher, I think. Well, maybe that's because you're so much older. <laughs> sort of looking at me through your misty old satellites. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am. Um, I've actually come with a little gift for you. I really just wanted to say, you know, welcome and thank you and goodbye. There so... was no need, honestly. But, well, thank <laughs> you very much. I love it. That's just the box. I'll open it later. Oh. Thank you so much. That was thank really you. kind. Well done. Well done, you. Mm. And, um, you know, you're doing really well. Right then. I'll see you later. See you again. Bye. Thank you. Coming up next, we have the very interesting Natalie Neeson here, who is joining me on the sofa to discuss her new book, Natalie Let Loose. Don't go away. And we're clear. I'm just finding it so weird without you. I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you feeling OK about it? Not really. Did you invite Amanda to your barbecue? No. Really? Is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know if it's me, but she just smells really kind of strong. Oh, I hadn't really noticed. Really? No. I don't know if it's like her feet or her breath. Or both, you know. It's like a sort of cheesy fish. Oh, OK. Yeah. Do you want me to say something? It's probably better coming from Martin. Yeah. Something. She'll only be here for a couple of days. Well, maybe, I don't know. Just so you know, guys, you're both still on mic. Thanks, Amanda. Just have fun with the show, girl. I do have fun with the show. <laughs> I think what works with Mike is his spontaneity. <sighs> do you mind, by the way, just not sitting so close during my links? I just find it really off-putting. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oops. So do you want to... Um, do you want to go? Oh, what, now? No, mm -hmm. I... Got the interview coming. Oh, I think I'm going to be doing this as well. I think. I'm doing the interview. Standby studio. Uh, I'm doing the interview. Amanda said I should be here. Three, I... Two, one, and Hugo. Just go. Just go. Can't. Welcome back, and with us now, Natalie Neeson, to discuss her book Natalie Let Loose. It's an intriguing story. Um, I know you said it started when you were a little girl, and t tell us tell us how it began. Well, really, it was a day kind of very much like any other. Um, I woke up in my bedroom and um, and there she was, um, sitting at the end of my bed. Natalie. Natalie. Sorry, yeah. and who's Natalie? Well, um, Natalie is, is a spirit. Um, she is a part of me, but also not a part of me. Mm. Um, so when you saw her at the end of your bed, did mm. it look like you, or did it look like a blob? Or it looked exactly like me. Gosh. But with slightly mousier hair, dark hair. Oh, Just gosh. a bit duller. A little bit duller, yes. Mm. And it wasn't. I don't want to kind of sort of take the wind out yourselves, but it wasn't just a reflection in like the bathroom mirror or something like that. No, it wasn't. It wasn't just a reflection. No. Um, okay. But you've used Natalie for your own purposes in, in it, it, sort of, in the sense that you have committed a number of crimes that you have said Natalie committed. Natalie did commit them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not Natalie. No. Natalie is very much her own person. She's a very, very strong-willed person. She's part of me. She's my best friend. She's my spirit guide in lots of ways. She's also a criminal. Mm. Um, well, look, this has been great having you on, and uh, our stand-in producer has told me to be more spontaneous. So, um, I might just do that right now. 
okay. um, by asking you um, to wish a very sweet friend of mine happy birthday. Um, she's not well at the moment, but I know that she loved your book. She's, she's a virgin as well. Um, she's in her late 50s and uh, she's not even done anything. But uh, she would, she'd love it if you wished her a, a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, not yet, because I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. <laughs> I'm going to phone her up live on air. You vouched that I, I didn't even know about this. <laughs> this is quite new. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to get hold of Jane Goodall, please. Sorry, who is... Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, this is Gail Sinclair from Morning, the breakfast television show. Um, Jane's our real producer. Right. Yeah, I, I would just like to uh, wish Jane a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jane. You know, this is the Maudsley. Gail, hang up the phone. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> just stop the call. Stop the fucking... Hi there, hi. This is Gail Sinclair. This is the registrar. Stop the fucking call! You're speaking to Gail Sinclair. Can I please... Could you just put Jane Goodall on the line, please? Cut her off! I'm afraid uh, that's not possible. Jane passed away an hour ago. She, um, she hung herself, I'm afraid. Hello? Hello? It's, okay. It's a prank call or something. She called, she called them. Okay. Thank you, thank, thank you for letting us know. Yes, could you please come down? We need to identify this. Um. Gosh, it's... Well, it's, it's really quite staggering, isn't it, the nature of, you know, live television and... Uh... Absolutely. Um, but life must go on, um, obviously. Well, the show, the sh and the show must go on, I think, as well. You know? But the show must go on, the show must go on. And um, I think we'd probably all like to say a little prayer for Jane and perhaps being pushed out by a cuckoo in the nest in the form of a lady with glasses and very short hair. Who's that? 